practice is the hardest part of learning and training is the essence of transformation. The development in the world today is closely linked to the development of new technologies and their maturation as industry. The Industrial Revolution from the 17th to the 19th century gave birth to the steam engine, textiles, printing press, etc. Countries that underwent this industrial revolution became developed as machines took over some of the work from man, while countries that did not undergo industrialization remained underdeveloped and agrarian. This industrial revolution had no direct linkage with science. However, the new technologies of the 20th century were knowledge-based. CSIR had its birth five years after the independence of Pakistan. Initially established as Pakistan Department of Research in 1951, it was reformulated in its current state in 1953 as Pakistan Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. I would like to congratulate the principal PSTC, the faculty members of PSTC, all the students of PSTC, for completing their 50 years Golden Jubilee celebration. I think as far as the role of PSTC is concerned for the development of this country is great. They have done remarkable job to produce the technical manpower in this country. At this stage, it might be worth to mention that as far as the role of Switzerland government is concerned, to start this program in the mid of uh, 60 is remarkable. I would like to express a very sincere thanks to the government of Switzerland and the people of Switzerland for starting this initiative. Well, as far as the government of Pakistan is concerned, the Ministry of Science and Technology, what we believe for the technical development, for the industrial development, the technical manpower is very, very important. For that purpose, government has started a couple of initiatives like TEFTA, NAPTEC and other programs. And the basic idea is to produce the technical manpower in this country. Similarly, Ministry of Science and Technology and PCSIR, we are also very serious to really support the technical manpower in this country. For that purpose, we have started a program in Gwadar and we are also thinking to start another program in AJK and Gilgit Baltistan. This is very important and I think uh, the technical manpower is very very important for the development of any industrial sector in the country. Once again, on my behalf, on the behalf of my management, we like to express very sincere congratulations to the, all the faculty members, the principal and all the staff of PSTC for their Golden Jubilee celebration. Thank you very much. Park Swiss Training Center or PSTC is a unit of Pakistan Council of Scientific and Industrial Research established in the year 1965 with the collaboration of Swiss Contact, Government of Switzerland. Ghulam Ali Sheikh and my background is engineering. I have graduated from Mehran Engineering University, Jamshoro, in 1984. And then after I joined PCSIR, Pakistan Council of Scientific and Industrial Research at Islamabad in National Physical Standards Laboratory, I served over 22 years at Islamabad and then I have got many trainings from Park Swiss Training Center was established in 1965 with the collaboration of Swiss contact and uh, government of Switzerland. Mainly they have provided uh, machines and equipments as well as with the Swiss experts at that time. He was the first principal, Dr. Ernest Fry. 
the Pakistan training centre he took over this the, along with the other instructors of Pakistan. Since its birth, PSTC has produced immeasurable gems that are still scintillating and had become a role model for newcomers. I selected Pakistan training centre as it has the it has the best market value, and my friends and relatives recommended me this centre as it is the best one available in Karachi. My name is Leslie D'Souza. I belong to the first batch which came in, in 1965 and I was started here as a technical assistant. We were taught to work with uh, to an accuracy of 0.01 of a millimeter. This sort of a training has never been found in any other institute in Karachi. The cost of the centre was borne partly by Swiss Foundation for Technical Assistance in the form of 10 Swiss experts in machines and equipment worth over 1.4 million Swiss francs. I joined Park Swiss Training Centre in 1968. I did my training in instrument technology. The structure of the Park Swiss Training Centre is excellent. Our basic grooming was done in the Park Swiss. That helped us build up our career in future. I joined Park Swiss in 1973 and completed my diploma in 1976. When I was instructor in Park Swiss Training Center, I was offered a job from another multinational company, Fuji Fertilizer, that was in my hometown. After my retirement, I feel that the Park Swiss played a vital role in my success and in my career building. Now I have retired and I have come back to Park Swiss and offered my services with the young generation of Park Swiss students to contribute and to develop their knowledge and skill. Since 1965, the center is progressing and expanding its activities slowly and gradually. Considering the demand, the intake of the students was extended from 24 to 172 per year in the diploma courses. Here in Park Swiss Training Center in Dyson Mold Technology, we deal with these tools like uh, press tools and Dyson Mold, which are deal with the plastics and sheet metal. Overall, the mahal is very good. For girls, it is not so difficult to work here. We can work easily, we can learn easily. The kids who pass out here, they go to the industry, so they go to the industry. So, they go to the industry, so they go to the industry. Because the mahal is here, they go to the industry. Industries, companies related you. I have a wonderful experience as a lecturer, as a teacher, because we are having wonderful students as well as uh, the teachers over here. They are very cooperative and uh, we have a good collaboration uh, in our working places together. So I hope for, for the best in our coming years as well. As we have passed the last few years, I hope that we are going to have wonderful years uh, in, uh, in my coming experience as well. In 1980, the four-year specialized diploma of associate engineer in dyes and mold technology was started again with the collaboration of Swiss Contact, Government of Switzerland. A separate workshop was constructed and new machines and equipment was installed for the enrolled capacity of 18 students per year. I joined the Park Swiss Training Center in 1984. I am belong to the first batch of dyes and mold technology and, uh, and now I am a principal instructor and in charge of Dyson Mold Technology section. First batch of Dyson Mold Technologies passed out in 1984. Since then, 32 batches completed their studies and working local and multinational industries of Pakistan and abroad. The duration of the course is four years. The initial two years, they studied precision mechanics and the following two years, they completed tool designing and its manufacturing. Almost all the manufacturing units of OEM, Suzuki, Honda uh, are utilizing our graduates. This diploma course has resulted successful and met the demand of local and multinational industries. यहाँ पर हम लड़कों को डायन मोल के बारे में ट्रेनिंग देते हैं थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ ईयर और इनको इंडस्ट्री के लिए 